how you robbed the veteran with the security camera a veteran u.s army veteran with a security camera in his front yard and proceed to have a shootout with him knowing he got a bigger gun than you that can motherfucking one tap you you stupid ass niggas yo what's up y'all boys man welcome back to the channel if you like the intro please sub to the channel like the video because it only gets better from here on out i promise you that over that been said let's get right into it Man says he grabbed his gun and scared the group of men off. What he didn't expect is gunfire was exchanged. This all was caught on surveillance cameras. Fox 5 reporter Eric Perry is live outside the home in Clayton County. So, Eric, what happened? Yeah, Tom, Christine, honestly, what happened, that group of men picked the wrong house cold to try to burglarize here. You can see the evidence on this BMW from that shootout just riddled with gunfire. That man said he just wanted to make sure his wife was protected. I don't want to die at home. Damn, folks was ready to jump into action. Y'all motherfuckers better stop playing out here in these streets. I done told y'all this before, man. Stop trying to be fake tough. Stop trying to act like y'all street niggas. Stop trying to... Yeah, y'all better stop. Y'all seen how... Y'all seen how bro came, bro came out there with the shirt off. Shirt off with slides, folks. Let's run that back real quick. Focus out here with pajamas on. Slides. No socks. With, with the big-ass Drake. No shirt. And he is defending his house. Y'all better stop playing, niggas. You know what I'm saying? You never know who you running into, man. You never know who you running into. And I'm just saying, stay out of the game in total. Stop being a street nigga. That shit not, not for you. You end up dead or in jail, you feel me? These motherfuckers fucking with the wrong nigga. You picked the wrong house, fool. Whatever they say, that's what happened. Bro, we jumped right into Ashton. Right into defense mode. He was not playing with you niggas. Envy the clip on you niggas. Defend his house. That's what he's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Defend his motherfucking castle. That's exactly what he's supposed to do. For you niggas, that's trying to intrude. This what he's supposed to do. And whatever happened to y'all, nobody should feel sorry for y'all motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all trying to take from somebody, trying to harm somebody. They best believe niggas out here going to defend themselves, you feel me? And if your life get took into action, that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? Nobody don't feel sorry for you, my nigga. I don't want to die at home. <laughs> I survived Afghanistan and everything else. And to die at home in my own yard. The goal for Whitfield. Folks said, y'all thought I was pussy. <laughs> Folks said, Folks said, <laughs> Folks said, I didn't, I didn't survive war. These crazy niggas with suicide bombers. These crazy niggas with Drakes that had no fear of shooting us. You think I'm finna die in my yard from some stupid ass hooligan kids? He said, you got me fucked up, nigga. I'm finna Drake y'all niggas up. Y'all better stop playing, man. Y'all better stop playing, folks. You know what I'm saying? Right now, how the fuck, you robbed, you robbed the motherfucking army veteran, my nigga? I know he got a USA flag somewhere in his front yard. You robbed him? That's the number one sign. He a fucking veteran. You try to, you try to steal his car? Are you fucking dumb, bro? You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas so dumb in these streets, you feel me? Some of y'all street niggas so motherfucking dumb, y'all don't know the, what target to pick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all picked the nigga that most likely got a big ass gun. And he came out and used that bitch on you, my nigga? <laughs> What the fuck? Bill Smith was to protect his family and home early Monday morning when he noticed a group of men on his ring camera. I'm noticing uh, a, a young man running from my neighbor's yard across my front lawn into the middle of the street to meet up with two other gentlemen. One of the men made a near fatal decision. Sprints up my driveway. I can see on camera that he's hunched down wearing a gray hoodie and he's got some kind of firearm in his hand. He reaches to try to get into my BMW that's in the driveway. The door's locked. Grab my rifle, head outside. With flip-flops, pajama pants, and no shirt, this veteran went to war to protect his wife who was hiding inside. Boom, 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 boom. There was one gentleman that was on the other side of the trees and the main protagonist was right here using my truck as a shield. At one point, he kicked off his flip-flops, races inside, puts on clothes, and comes back out. He says he didn't have time to be afraid. Who secured this motherfucker? Only time to act. Man, yeah, 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 you criminals is dumb as fuck, man. You criminals is dumb as fuck nowadays, man. 
You stupid ass criminals. Not only did y'all try to steal this man's car, y'all didn't recognize this nigga had a motherfucking that security cam on his front in his front door. Like y'all ain't noticed that. Y'all ain't think this motherfucker don't have his shit secure somewhere or another, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, y'all y'all fuck y'all fuck with the wrong one. You know what I'm saying? Not only did he come outside with no shirt, pajamas, and a big ass fucking assault rifle and spray that bitch on you. He went inside, reloaded his shit, and put on clothes, <laughs> and and and, def and proceeded to defend his motherfucking castle against you niggas, man. Y'all little street, y'all y'all little niggas in the street better get y'all shit straight, bro. Cause y'all, bro, it was this close from using their motherfucking life, bro. This not this nigga, this nigga been in war. He got aim, bro. You know what I'm saying? He they this close, they was this close to losing their motherfucking life, man. And not and not only that, you guys have the dastardly. To continue to have a shootout with this nigga, knowing he got a big ass five five six fucking rifle that can blow your motherfucking brain from this part of the street to the other sidewalk. You trying to spray him with that little ass Glock with no aim, that little ass high point with no aim. You trying to duck behind cover and shoot at him from distance, blind firing. Right, this nigga can can just goddamn headshot your skull from Atlanta all the way to motherfucking Utah. You stupid ass niggas don't even know how to fight or flight, my nigga. Shit is ridiculous. I didn't think that they'd be shooting at me and I'd be hearing bullets whiz past me. This father fears he would have been dead if it wasn't for his BMW to shield the nearly two dozen bullets. They said, Mr. Smith, you're very brave. You're very brave, but you're very crazy. You're very stupid, but you're very brave. Yeah, and Mr. Smith is alive. Thankfully, no one was injured in any of this. He says those that the group of men actually got away with the firearm that he had inside of his truck there. He also says that after the gunfire really erupted, they tried to break into neighbors' homes to escape. They were unsuccessful, but they are still out there. If you know anything about this, come forward to Clayton County Police. Of course, you can remain anonymous scary moments here in Clayton County, but that's the latest. I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. Yeah, he made it through Afghanistan and this happens in his own front yard. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unreal. Eric. This should be a lesson for you niggas, man. Stay out in the motherfucking streets. The streets is not for, for everybody and it's, damn, it's, it's not for the majority of you niggas. Most of you niggas is too dumb to be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Not only did y'all rob the fucking only, probably the only veteran on the motherfucking street, you robbed him when he had a security cam in his front yard. And you shot at this nigga BMW, man. I feel, I feel, you know what I'm saying? He, lucky he alive. I feel sorry for his pockets, man. I hope this nigga insurance understand what's going on, because BMW maintenance costs is expensive as it fucking is, my nigga. They finna charge him my arm and the lead to get that shit fixed, all the bullet holes out, and the bullet fragments out, you feel me? Like, y'all niggas is motherfucking menaces, bro. And I mean that in the worst way possible. No, no, like, no compliment. You niggas is weird. Dumb menaces. Dumb ass niggas, bro. I'm saying, bro. Like, what the fuck? And y'all stole this nigga fire on my hope. It's a way that he can motherfucking tell tell somebody that it's stolen because they don't steal that shit and do some more devious shit with it and try to pin this, the crime on him, bro. Like, that's how shit working. These, it's, the streets is grimy. A lot of you, like I said, you young, fake, tough niggas, stay the fuck out of the streets, bro. It's not for y'all. Y'all niggas is dumb. How you robbed the veteran with the security camera, a veteran, U.S. Army veteran, with a security camera in his front yard, and proceed to have a shootout with him, knowing he got a bigger gun than you, that can motherfucking one-tap you. You stupid ass niggas. Stay the fuck in the house, get a 9 to 5, go work at Publix, motherfucking Walmart, whatever. Go work at a warehouse. Do something. Stay out the streets, bro. Because this little ass change you finna get this, whatever money you thought you was finna get, this $1,000 you was finna split between all three of you niggas, $300 a night, was not worth your motherfucking life, bro. You feel me? Y'all need to get your, mother, your motherfucking mind right. Stop trying to chase this fast money and grind your way up, man. Let's go for everybody watching this, bro. Don't don't get into drug dealing. Don't get into robbing. Don't get into none of that. Don't get into being a, a jack boy. None of that shit, bro. Because that shit don't end well. You don't end up, nine times out of ten, dead or in prison, bro. For a long ass time. Only a very few make it out this game. And don't play that risk with your motherfucking life and your family. But, but that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Comment down below what was the most important part slash best part of this video. Have a good day and night whenever you're watching this. With that being said, I'm out.